Guys, this is Mr. Joshy J, and this is your qualifying review to the Formula One Sprints Grand Prix. Now, usually this will be the qualifying they'll do on a Saturday, but because the Sprints race is happening tomorrow, that's why they're qualifying on a Friday. Lewis Hamilton is on pole position ahead of Max Verstappen and Fauci Bottas. Lewis Hamilton, though, for the main race, does have to take a five grid place penalty, which is such a shame because he's on pole position in Turkey. And guess what? He had to take a penalty, but it is what it is. But today, no one could get anywhere near him. Absolutely fantastic performance by the British driver. Now, deep down, I still believe Max is favourite, but you know, it's going to be tasty tomorrow. Hamilton and Verstappen on the front row of the grid again. Expect fireworks between them two. But all I want to see is a clean wheel-to-wheel -wheel race. But I am dreading the contacts. I really am dreading it. And they're going to make contacts with each other. I hope not because all us fans want to see is clean racing. But if they make contacts, then... Max is going to be laughing because it literally puts him in an even stronger position. But I do not want to see the championship end in this way. I just want a nice fair fight all the way over to Abu Dhabi. So, but you still got to believe in Lewis. Never ever right to lose out and off. George Russell outqualified by Nicholas Satifi which was a big surprise. And also, the Latifi outperformed George Russell in the FP1 session earlier on, on. So, yeah, that is a big surprise. Williams not quite on it this weekend so far. You know, P16 and P17, not good for the Williams. Latin, believe it's P... 17 and 18 actually because Lance Stroll got knocked out in Q1 which he's never gone through to Q2 in Brazil Lance Stroll so that's disappointing for him Esran Ocon nearly got knocked out in Q1 but thankfully for Alpine he made it through to Q2 but Fauci Bottas you know Max Verstappen's lap was very untidy and he failed to take advantage of it so if Bottas was on it a bit more it could have been an old Mercedes front row for the sprint qualifying in the sprint race but we'll wait and see what happens tomorrow but if Lewis Hamilton wins the sprint race and gets three championship points how crucial could it be still come the end of the season it could still prove crucial but realistically, I believe Hamilton needs Max to have a DNF. Because the title, to me, is well and truly in Max's happens hands. But I would keep on believing in Lewis. Remember what happened in this circuit, Brazil, 2008, last lap. Lewis Hamilton back in position because Timo Glock went off the track. So never say never in this sport. It's going to be very, very interesting. Ferrari, yeah, their pace was decent. Leclerc had his lap time deleted in qualifying. So did Lewis Hamilton. But Max just didn't quite have the pace to match the Mercedes today. Car was going a bit all over the place, but no doubt he's going to be strong in the sprints qualifying and the main qualifying. Or in a sprint race, should I say, because we've had the qualifying. But, yeah, the two championship rivals on the front row. Ooh, going to be interesting. As Bono said on the team radio to Lewis Hamilton, his race engineer, it's been a little while, but well worth the wait. Absolutely buzzing Lewis Hamilton's on pole position for this one. Even though he does have the penalty for the main Grand Prix, but he can win the sprints race and start in the main race fifth, then move on the fields because this Mercedes engine, the brand new one in Housing's car, looks an absolute beast. So hopefully 
he can get in the main race second or maybe even the win will be absolutely fantastic. Then it is well and truly game on for this championship. Comment your thoughts down below. I will always reply. And join me tomorrow for a review of the sprint race. Sunday for the main Grand Prix. And Monday for driver ratings and team ratings for the Brazilian Grand Prix. Wow, I am absolutely loving we're back at this track for the first time in two years. I really am. Let's make a good occasion being back in Brazil. Bye-bye.